Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the first of three techniques that you can use to reply with a templated email. As I said, this is the first of three techniques. I'm about to come out with videos number two and three later on today, so that you can see which technique is most appropriate for your situation. The easiest of those three techniques is to use something called quick steps. Quick steps are easy to create buttons. I like to consider them to be no code macros. If I go up here to the top of the screen and click on create a new quick step, what I'm doing is I'm creating a new button, which as you can see in other situations could reply to an email and delete it or forward it to a manager, etc. So if I click on create new and I decide that I want to reply to a particular email, You'll notice that I can choose between reply and reply all. Let's go ahead and choose reply all here. And then under show options, you'll see that you have the ability to put in your text, your templated information. Now notice the two things that we cannot do in this space. The first thing we can't do is we cannot format the text of this response. And the second thing that we cannot do is we cannot include attachments in this response. But if what we're trying to accomplish is to reply with the same templated um, content every single time, it's a very easy way to make that happen. So for example, I might call this reply with um, arrival. And this might be something like um, address of the facility is 11456 First Avenue, Richmond, Virginia. At the gate, provide Harrison Barnes as your contact person. Great. So at this point, you're feeling good about things. You have created your reply with arrival button. You can click on finish right down here at the bottom and you can see here reply with arrival next to your reply and reply all buttons. And so you can do this for basically as many of these as you need. You can click this little drop down menu. You can choose create new. And if now you need to reply to a particular, let's say you're replying to people who are applying for jobs. It might be reply with, um, and that might be something like app info. So it might be again, let's go with just a simple reply here. Show options and say something like, thank you for your application. We will follow up with you within, whoops, follow up with you within 48 hours. I click on finish right down here at the bottom. And now we have reply with application info and reply with arrival information right up here at the top of the screen next to reply and reply all. Like I said, these are the two, these are the easiest ways of accomplishing this task. Now, if you want to go a step further, number one, creating a button that lives potentially somewhere other than this quick steps panel. Number two, to be able to format the content of that email. And number three, to be able to respond with something that has an attachment, you'll need to use other functionality that uses macros. And you'll see those videos coming up very soon. 